Hey y'all, do you know what day it is? Yes, it is National Guacamole Day. <laughs> National Guacamole Day. Hey, hey, joy, joy. I mean, there are some that love avocados and there are some that don't like avocados. I personally love avocados and what better thing to make with avocados is guacamole hey dad hey Jerry so I have been to some very fancy restaurants where they uh, fancy Mexican restaurants hey Becky where they pull up the tray and the chef is doing the chop, chop, chop in the bowl. And it's a fancy, fancy visual ordeal party. Love it, right? It's fancy, fancy. I'm not that fancy this evening. But I am, kinda, I am going to kind of make a fancier guacamole um, recipe because... This one doesn't call for tomatoes. This one has dill in it. Hey, Christian. <laughs> I'm gonna pick some off the tree in about a week. Yeah, Daddy lives in Texas. That's Huck. Hey, Brian. My uh, papered chef, uh, Sensei, he's so fancy. Hey, Ellen, so glad you're here. So here's what we're doing. <laughs> we're making a, a, a PC recipe it is cucumber dill guacamole so let me tell you what's in it two medium ripe avocados johnny angel does the um, grocery shopping most of the time i do the meal planning write out the list and uh so johnny did pretty good i think i think these are gonna i think these are gonna do, be okay and then one lime a half of a small red onion a half and this is a this is a big seedless so I guess this is the regular size of a half of a seedless cucumber share me ah, ah, ah. so glad you're here a quarter cup of fresh fresh dill so if we didn't you know, we lit our river houses in a very small community. I was told Johnny Angel if we didn't have fresh steel. Hey, Henry. I'm glad you did good at the chili cook-off. Um, I have deal essential oils, which you can replace, just as a matter of fact. Cumin, salt, and a garlic clove. Look how massive look how massive hey hey mandy this is like huge this is like the biggest garlic clove i'm gonna have to figure out how i'm gonna get this in my thingamajiggy so here's we're just gonna get started happy national guacamole day so here's how we start cut uh, avocados you say avocados avocados i'm from the south it, we say avocados down here. At least I do. So here's what we do. Cut your avocado in half. And then... I didn't tell you the whole story. But you can tell if your avocado is right. I'm not making veggie chili. Although I love some secrets if you have some to share, Mr. Henry. I used to be a salsa queen though. If your avocados are ripe, this will easily come off. And then if it's green on the, in in the inside, you know it's ready. Okay, here's always the tricky part. And sometimes I do good with it. I have camper knives here, not my um, lake house knives. So here's what you do. Hope I do it right. <laughs> hey, Jenna. You're going like this. Uh, and you... <laughs> you uh, and you twist it. 
See how easy that was? <laughs> See how easy that was? Okay, there we go. I'm going to cut the other one. All right, here we go. It calls for two avocados for this cute cake dixie, the cucumber and dill guacamole. So I want to know, you guys, do y'all like guacamole? <laughs> Well, Dixie, it's been challenging. I'm doing well. Oh, I got it out. But I've been traveling a lot for two funerals and a wedding. So I'm emotionally um, hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. Hey, Katie, glad you're here. I hope the triplets are watching. Okay, so we're going to put... I know, it's it's been very emotional. Very emotional. Two avocados. We're going to... This is actually still a little green. But I'd rather it be... Oh, my heavens to Betsy. So it's not 100% ripe. But it'll do okay. Hey, Janet. Glad you're here. Hey, Kathy and Eric. Thank you. Do y'all like guacamole? All right. So it's, it, it'll be fine, but it is not super duper right. Might be harder for me to mash. <laughs> you have never had guacamole? Dixie, shut the front door. Nathan, happy National, ah, oh Lord, <laughs> guacamole day, happy National guacamole day, Dixie, I cannot believe you never had guacamole, does that mean because you do not like avocados, yeah, these are still, they're so they're not overripe, which makes it easier to make guacamole. No ever good gravy. Hey, Melissa, thanks for joining my live cooking show. Phew, wee. This might be a little more challenging to match. Oh, see, see, this one's easier. This one's a little bit easier. Oh my heavens to Betsy. We used to have this tool that would scoop out the um <laughs> if you make slices longwise it cuts Oh Sherry, you're so good. Alright, I'll try it on the next one. So Sherry always gives me these great taco recipes. And she always gives me these great cooking tips. Alright. Oh, let me see. So Sherry says, cut it in slices. And she's right. And then it'll come out easier. So here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Katie, uh, Katie wants to know if this goes well with white claw drinks. Absolutely. Absolutely goes very well with the White Claw drinks. <laughs> All right, Sherry. And as usual, <laughs> Sherry is right. <laughs> hey, Mac. Happy National Guacamole Day. <laughs> well, Sherry, you so smart. You so smart, Sherry. I should have done that with the others. Let me try this. Because I'm going to have to mash it in a minute. And they're kind of hard. So I have this. I told Johnny Angel to get ripe ones, but I didn't say how ripe. And they're kind of, they're just ripe. And this is the tool that I usually use. So this is, some, some people will like swear by this at Thanksgiving for mashed potatoes. But mashed potatoes are already cooked potatoes. So 
We'll see. <laughs> we're we're going to see. All right. Two ripened avocados. And the next step is to a juice a lime in the citrus press. My good one is at the other house. But we're going with it. Juice a lime. And I'm doing the whole I'm doing the whole lime. It says it says one and a half tablespoons. I'm going for the whole because I like lime. <laughs> and it helps to keep the lime from going brown. Can you see how beautiful that looks? Oh yeah. Actually, it looks like that a half a lime would probably do it. So you know what? I think I might stick with a half a lime. It says one and no, I'm not. I'm a girl that goes all in. I go all in. All right, I might not do the whole juicy. Whew. That's a juicy lime. Juicy lime. Okay. And, to, and then cut onion and cut in. So we put this to the side. We put this in the batter bowl with the lime. Set this to the side. And then I have, have half of a small red onion. Okay. And then you're going to cut it into chunks. All right, Miss Sherry, you got rid of the best manager. <laughs> hey, Lisa. It's National Guacamole Day. Cut your red onion into chunks and then half. Remove the stem. Oh, wait. And, and cut the cucumber. This is a seedless European. Hey, Mandy, a seedless. European. <laughs> I'm so glad. In the chunks. So, chunk, 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 chunk. All right, let me cut this in off. Do the a little less, little half the chunk, a half, a half. Okay. Since we're using a manual food processor. I wanted them to be in a little bit of a smaller, smaller chunks. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Susan. It's, do y'all like guacamole? This doesn't have tomatoes in it. Okay. Move stem from jalapeno. Okay. Last time I did a live show, I did not put on gloves for the jalapeno. And I should have known better. Should have known better. Because I made plenty of salsa before. Using the jalapeno. And the hands will burn. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, Michelle. So we're going to do some... If this one calls for a jalapeno, you can choose um, if you want if you're not a spicy gal or guy. And I don't have oh do I have my regular I don't have my good tool. Do I have my good tool? Hmm. I gotta order my good tool. So we're gonna try to cut out these. Hey Hannah. Cut out the little bit of the seeds. But we like it spicy around here. Although, Johnny Angel, he does not like avocados. So he's being patient with me tonight. He doesn't really like guacamole. Although, when we go to the fancy uh, Mexican restaurants, and they pull up with the cart and they're doing the whole choppy choppy show show he eats it he eats it 
Oh, okay. I'm trying to get a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, in the scenes out. Got a few scenes left in there. <clears throat> Not too many. Just a few to add a little extra spice to your life. Okay, remove the stem from the jalapeno, cut in half lengthwise. <laughs> Cindy, I can't make any pies, but I can make some Mexican food. <laughs> Monique and Jackie, happy National Guacamole Day. Oh my God. <coughs> you know when you cut into spicy food, if y'all are into spicy food, hey Jimmy. The aromatics go up into your membranes, into your nose, <laughs> and it goes. <laughs> oh, Hannah, thank you so much. Love yours too, sugar bunga. Okay, next, cut the jalapeno into chunks. Woo! I'm glad I wore gloves this time because I can tell just from breathing it. It is. It's. It's. It's, it's got some heat. It's got some heat, y'all. It's got some heat. Oh, my God. I'm glad I have on glasses, too. Because it is going up into the... I'm making hundreds the next few weeks. Oh, my God. I don't know what that means, Cindy. You have to tell me. Okay. I have... Remove the stems, cut it, carefully remove the stems, cut the, and place jalapeno, onion, and cucumber into the manual food processor. I love this thing. If you guys watch my cooking show, you know it's one of my favorite tools in the kitchen. <laughs> favorite tools in the kitchen. Here it is. Lord, <laughs> hundreds of, oh my heavens, <gasps> oh Cindy, I had so much fun with you at Antique Week, I will be forever grateful how much you made that experience for me as a Texas Antique Virgin, be so fabulous, <laughs> hey Kim, okay, here we go. We're putting the jalapeno, replacing the jalapeno, or and I'm touching it with my hands. Okay, and the onion, and the cucumber. Oh, I'm having some Betsy. There's a lot going in this sweet baby Jane. Oh my god, I hope I have enough room. Since we do. <laughs> okay. There's the jalapeno, the seedless cucumber, the red onion. Now we have to put the dill in there, and it calls for a quarter cup. I love Jill. I love dill. I love dill. The only homemade bread I've ever made in my life was dill bread. And it was, if you've ever been at any of my um, PC parties, you know that I'm very, I have this picture of me that I share that I'm like beaming. Look at my bread! Look at my bread! My homemade bread that I made! And it was um, dill bread made in our PC deep covered baker. Alright, I'm gonna try to. <laughs> I think I'm doing it right. Hey, I'm doing it right. However you do it is right. 
doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be delicious. And you know, a lot of times, y'all, a lot of times it doesn't look good. Yeah, doesn't look good, but I can tell you it tastes good, right? All right, so there's the dill. <whistles> Got the dill in there. Cumin. Huge fan of cumin. This is not what we use on the chili circuit, but it, it works. McCormick's works. And I'm already figuring that what we use on the chili circuit, I'll be um, putting in this little thing. And I like extra cumin. It calls for one teaspoon. I usually put more, but sorry, right, so let me just see. Y'all, y'all tell me if I'm putting more than one teaspoon. A little bit extra. I would say it was one tablespoon, right? One tablespoon. Not that bad. Not that bad. I've never made this recipe before. And of course, <laughs> I always do virgin recipes just for y'all as your taco queen having some fun in the kitchen we're camping in we're cooking in the camper <laughs> cooking in the camper right <laughs> okay and now add the garlic press with garlic press good gravy in the morning all right, here's the big challenge. And I hope to my heavens to Betsy. I hope. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see? Hopefully all this is going to mix together. I'm going to have to use some. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm going to have to use some female power to get this done. But we got it. So, with our PC garlic press, you do not have to peel it. But this son of a gun is major huge. It's humongo. So, I'm going to have to cut it in half. Oh, wow. Love that. I cut it in half and look, it peeled itself. <laughs> hey, Donna. So, since this one is so ginormous... I think I might only use just one. What this, I mean, this thing is industrial. This is like metal. This is not Pollyanna plastic. This thing is Mambo Jama. And it comes with this little brush. It helps you to clean it. All right, here we go. It's huge. It's huge. This is a big one. <laughs> But look at this. Isn't this cool that you can make guacamole, deal guacamole in this one little manual food processor? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's not a fiasco. Okay, now... You process the vegetables until they're finely chopped. Wait a second. Did I miss something? Cut the avocados in half. I did that. I juiced the lime. I did that. Cut, the, cut it with a knife and remove the stems from the jalapeno. Cut jalapenos. Place the jalapeno, onion, and cucumber, dill, cumin, and salt into the manual food processor. You call it your Barbie brush. <laughs> How true is that? Add garlic press with the, and then process until vegetables are finely chopped. All right, I get it now. And then once these are finely chopped. I put it into the batter bowl. Needs salt. <laughs> oh my god. Did I forget the salt? 
I love you, Nathan. I love you, Nathan. I forgot the salt. <laughs> Good gravy in the morning. How can I have forgotten the salt? I love salt. So, here I have Himalayan pink salt. Thank you. Good. You can't have guacamole without the salt. All right, I'm putting it in here. I hope I didn't put too much. It only, it costs for a half a teaspoon. I love my salt. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Dixie. Good gravy in the morning. All right, here we go. Let's see if I I got some skills. I know I got skills. I got a lot of skills. All right, here we go. Oh. Uh. Oh, Denise! <sighs> so, if you have enough room on your counter for a big food processor, go for it. I live an RV lifestyle. And you, my counter is cleared for the show. But typically, I got, you can see my cooking blender back there. I got my Instapot here. Uh, what else do I usually have? But. Oh, what, what, oh, <laughs> I was going to say something else. My big box of wine. <laughs> Did y'all hear me say that? <laughs> All right. Look, y'all, that was perfect. The electric ones, they obliterate the food, at least the ones that we bought at Tuesday morning one time <laughs> and we used it like twice and it was horrible, it was horrible. But let me tell you what, you gotta see how good this did. All right, oh Lord. I mean, look at that. Just a few little pumps. You got Wonder Woman arms and look, that is perfect, right? It's perfectly chopped. It's not obliterated. All right, so next, we're gonna put it in here with the two avocados, lime juice, and some salt. All right, here we go. This rest, uh, does say calls for a bigger mixing bowl. I hope, hope it's big enough. This is exciting. This is exciting. I think it's, I think, you know, don't you just love fresh food? It smells amazing in here. It does. It smells amazing. All right. So I'm just going to do this a little bit, but the magic, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. But the magic tool, but this avocado is not exactly super right. So I was trying to chop it up. So let's see. They call this, well, a lot of people have been around in the PC world call this Thank you for the likes, y'all. Thank you for hanging in there with me. A lot of people call this the mashed potato tool. And it does... God, it doesn't look very clean. I don't have a dishwasher here at the river either. Good thing I grew up in the country and ate dirt. I'm, uh, and played in with, and drank 
water from the the uh, the hose. <laughs> I'm pretty much immune to a lot of germs. <laughs> pretty much immune to a lot of germs. Well, there you have it, girl from the south, <laughs> cooking in, in the camper. It's working fine. It's working fine. It's working fine. Yahoo! I don't know why I doubted it. I guess because I haven't used this tool very much. And I haven't made the recipe before. It is working like a charm, y'all. Like a charm. Okay, good. All right. It's going to be spicy and fresh. And I'm so happy that this tool is working so good. All the tools. That manual food processor, hey, B. <laughs> Jennifer. That manual food processor, processor blah, 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 blah. and this masher. Unbelievable. I'm so glad. Hey, Bean, do you like guacamole? Holy shimoli, y'all. Unbelievable. This is already mashed into guacamole consistency. I love it when a recipe comes together. I love it when a recipe comes together. And you know, tomorrow is Taco Tuesday. Oh, but I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to be using this. I'm, um, I have a surprise recipe that I was going to make for tomorrow, but it requires ground pork. And Johnny, in our small town here, they didn't have it. No ground pork. You know, I can't, I'm cooking from the camper when there's no ground pork at the local grocery store. Check that out. Remember I was saying that um, avocado was ripe but not soft? The bomb. The bomb. Okay, here we go. Here's the taste test. I'm not doing a chip. I just want to taste it just like it is. <laughs> Hi, Chris. All right, here we go. This is, and I'm, I've never had this, cucumber dill guacamole. It seems right. <laughs> oh my god. It's so good. Oh, I'm double dipping and I might have to share. Let me get another spin. Thank you. Thank you. I will go to there tomorrow. White stone. Get some there. I've gotten it before, or at least ground lamb. Y'all, this is so good. I love how fresh it is. Sometimes the tomatoes, if you add tomatoes, which I love, kind of makes it watery down. But with the onion... And the cucumber makes it a little more crunchy instead of um, creamy, which I like. You put black beans and corn in your guacamole? <laughs> I'm not surprised by that, Nathan. I do have some of that extra left over, so I do have some black beans. Y'all, I just need another. I need another thing that's not been double dipped. Oh, my God. Hey, y'all. 
it is a PC recipe B. If you want the recipe, comment below and I will um, send it to you. It's so good. And different. So if you're having a little party, you're going to get some kudos with this. I, I'm serious. It's really good. It's super fresh. And I don't, I don't like it. I like it more chunky instead of um, creamy. I think this might be the best guacamole I've ever made. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Yay. I'll send it to you, y'all. Thank you. Well, I just want to say happy National Guacamole Day. <laughs> was so fun hanging out with y'all tonight. Tomorrow night's Taco Tuesday. Should be back. And um, thank you for tuning in. It's time to sign off now, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Peace. Love. And happy trails, baby. Love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy National Guacamole Day. I'll post the recipe. Y'all let me know. Oh, is that music? <laughs> Bye, sugars. Love you so much. Peace, love, and happy trails. <laughs>